All right, guys, we're up in an attic over here on Pershing Drive um, at the Harper's house. We're going to rep be replacing this furnace and a coil. Um, it's an 80% efficient gas furnace. You can see the gas lines right there. Um, all of that stuff looks good and is to code so we can reuse the existing gas line. We'll break it at the Union. There's already a ball cock shut off valve there, so we'll just turn that and break it at the Union, build into the new unit. There's a safety pan up here already. There's a decent amount of rust built up on it over here by the coil area. Um, so we'll put a new safety pan up. Actually, you know what? We'll reuse the existing safety pan. We'll just check it for any holes. New wet switch going into the unit. Um, I will tie on to our existing condensate drain line. Um, that goes from here at the unit, and it looks like... Uh, it runs straight down just here behind the gas line. Uh, kind of hard to see with how bright the light is, but um, we'll tie on to our existing flue pipe. We'll come out of the top of our new unit right up through into the existing flue pipe into the ceiling there. Um, there's a supply box over here that all of the supply ductwork ties into. There's a 10 inch run back in there that runs up to a 12 by 12 duct and all there's three vents or four vents actually that come off of that into um, the master bedroom and then there's one individual six um, that comes down right here and into uh, one of the rooms and there's an eight inch duct flex duct that comes off right there and runs back into a bathroom and we have a 10 inch duct here that comes down and around and into a 12 by 12 insulated box and that runs uh, pretty much the length good distance of the attic here um, with all of our individual rooms breaking off of it. Um, our return side, there's one return box with a um, eight inch return duct over there on that side. You can see it sitting down on the ground. That comes off of that um, return box and that goes to the master bedroom. And then there's this big 16 inch flex duct that goes into the return for the uh, rest of the upstairs. Our refrigerant lines are okay. We can reuse the existing refrigerant lines. Don't see any problem with those. We'll pressure test them and flush them out. Um, we'll just tie on to the existing supply box here and the existing return box on the other side. We'll hook all that stuff back up. That should be everything up here. Um, we are gonna need to bring more walk boards they just have those two, um, and there is no light up here, so we're going to have to have a light hooked up. There's a little electric panel, electric box over there. Um, we should be able to tie on somewhere over here for electric to put a light. That should be everything as far as I can find up here. Uh, next video will be the breaker panel. The second floor of the house now. Um, so here's a scuttle hole to get into the attic. Obviously, there's nothing going through that to get uh, our new furnace in. So uh, we have two options. We either make this vent here um, larger, which I don't think that's going to be the best choice, or there is an attic fan here. We can pull that attic fan, remove the attic fan, move it to the side, and push our furnace up um, through that opening and um, there's a little landing here that goes down the steps um, so we should be able to get our furnace up through the, the attic, can, attic fan space all right guys here's the outdoor outdoor condenser over here at um at pershing drive <clears throat> we'll be removing this unit we'll reuse the existing refrigerant lines um, we're going to bring um, just three foot of or two foot of um, insulation for the suction line there um, new disconnect mounted onto the wall with a new electrical whip going into the unit. Um, we'll mount the unit on top of a new pad. As far as access goes, you'll be able to um, access the unit uh, or bring the uh, unit through the gates here. Um, and then on the other side of the gate, um, you'll be able to come around the other side of the neighbor's house. Uh, looks like this is a condensate drain line here for um, the second floor unit. I think. I'm not quite sure what that is. Alright guys, we have an Eaton breaker panel. 
Um, everything is clearly marked. So we got a 20 amp breaker for a double 20 amp breaker for the second floor um, air conditioner. You can see it right there. That should be everything for this one.